You're home and in bed for the evening. It's the end of a long day. But as Claudia Rocha learned, nothing will jolt you out of a sound sleep faster than an intruder in your house. I told my daughter, my older daughter, that I was so tired that I'm going to sleep now. But one hour later, in the basement bedroom of this home in Elizabeth, New Jersey, Claudia's 15-year-old daughter is sure she hears someone walking on the floor above. She grabs her phone and calls her mom in her bedroom on the main floor. I answered the phone and said, what happened, baby? You OK? And she started crying. And she said, no, mom, somebody's upstairs. So I look outside of my door, and I see the man walking through the hall and he has a knife in his hand. That is when I started panicking. Claudia's other daughter, a five-year-old, has slipped into mom's bed for the night. Thinking again about her daughter downstairs, Claudia wants to protect both children. I want to run and help my daughter downstairs because she was crying and she was asking me for help. She was like, mom, come and help me. But she was scared that maybe he's going to attack her. But if I run, I have the little one sleeping next to me. So should I go and help her or stay here with the little one? So I was in panic. Claudia decides to stay in her bedroom with her younger child, hoping the man leaves. He passed by my room. He stared at me. That is one of the most scary things. He had the perfect time to do whatever he wants to me or my kids. In that moment, uh, anything can happen. He can use the knife that he used to open the door to kill me, or he could rape my daughter. One of the scariest things, knowing that your kids are in danger. He looked everything around my house. I don't know what exactly he was looking for. Maybe he was looking for cash. Frozen in fear for the safety of her family, Claudia waits until she feels it is safe to call police. When he heard me calling the police, he ran. He took my purse with my credit cards. But by the time that the police get to my house, he was gone. The man has not been arrested, but mom and her two daughters are safe. They know they've just survived the most terrifying night. You never expect that a man is going to get into your house and it's going to stay in your house for almost an hour. You don't prepare your kids for these situations. Everything could happen to me and my kids, so I need to be grateful that uh, I survived to this. It took some time for Claudia and her girls to feel safe again in their own home. They now live in a newer house with better locking doors and even better security cameras.